the Taco Bell party pack game. <sighs> Hello friends, it's me, Ricardo, and I'm back here again to tell you about one of my favorite games. As you can tell, you might notice a theme here. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. It's also one of the best, best videos I get to make because not only did I eat so much to make this video, which I'm full, I'm stuffed, but it's also a little callback to nostalgia because before I worked at Dragon's Lair, I used to work for this company. And let me tell you, it's been a journey. And it's kind of funny seeing it go full circle where now, where now that I'm working somewhere else, I get to relive my entire journey. And I get to present to you guys the Taco Bell Party Pack card game, brought to you by your friends at Taco Bell and published by Ravensburger. Let's unbox this bad boy after we take a good sip out of our drinks and have a chalupa and let's learn how to play the Taco Bell Party Pack game. The Taco Bell Party Pack card game comes in a very nice box that's actually made out of a similar material as their Craving Steel boxes, surprisingly. So the packaging is very authentic. You get all of the branding and all of the logos, as well as all of the themes that go along with the Taco Bell culture. It's very pick up and play. Now, when you open it, you're going to receive very minimal packaging. You're going to, the box is gonna continue the theme of Taco Bell, and you're going to get a rule book, which is very small, and then you're going to get a set, a two sets of cards, and point chips. These are the crew cards. These are the folks you need to feed. This shows you who they are. They're hungry. This is the point value, how many points you'll get for feeding this crew. Hunger, what you need to feed them, and craving, what they crave. Use menu items to feed your crew. These are the menu item cards. Sauce packet cards have an effect listed on the card, except for the fire sauce packet. Only one sauce packet may be played per crew, and more would be too much flavor overload. These are action cards. There's more than these in the game. They let you do something special, like drawing extra meal cards or choosing a sauce packet from the discard pile. There are some bonus cards or some challenging cards, such as this Supreme Superfan. The Supreme Superfan has some special conditions. I think he's one of the hardest cards in the game, but totally worth it if you're able to fulfill his criteria. The Supreme Superfan is worth seven points. But as you see at the bottom of the card, he needs five matching menu items. So they could be anything from the freeze, the crunch wrap, the burrito, or the cinnamon twist. So you will gain seven points if you fulfill that criteria. But if you notice in that little black box in the corner, you will see that he's craving the cinnamon twist. So if you want to gain bonus points, you fulfill this criteria by playing the following. Five cinnamon twists. Wow! What that's going to mean is I'm going to claim the card and I'm also going to get a craving chip. The craving chip is then going to be set aside for the end of the game and then at the end I'm going to reveal it as part of my score. So I will take my super fan and the craving chip, move it to my side of the board and discard the menu items in a discard pile. So playing this game is going to be very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to shuffle the meal cards and place them face down to one side of the table. So these are the meal cards. These are the cards you're going to shuffle all of these. And all of these just have menu items. For example, you're going to have like the crunch wrap. You're going to have a couple of those. And let me just skim through these. You're going to have the crunchy taco. And notice the symbol on the... Second center of this. On the... Uh, bottom of the card 
that'll tell you basically it'll line up with the with the icons on the crew cards and what these sauce cards can do is they are basically like power up bonus action cards that you can trigger when you play your your cards to claim characters point chips you deal three per player and they sit on the side and they have randomized numbers on one side and a chip design on the back you're going to deal three per player and place them with their chip side facing up. So I'm simulating a two player game. I'm playing with Ricky Minaj, which is the Taco Bell employee that I will be playing as. And then me, Ricardo. So you, there are six chips here. I'm going to set these aside. And anytime you claim a Taco Bell cravings reward, you will claim this card as well as a bonus chip that will go to your board or to you. And at the end of the game, you will reveal your points, you will add up your total, and whoever gets the most points wins. It's that simple. You're going to shuffle the deck of meal cards, and then you're going to deal 10 cards per player. Shuffle the crew cards and place them face down in the center of the table. Draw six crew cards and place them face up next to the crew deck. Have each player draw 10 meal cards into their hand. Don't let other players see what's in your hand. Don't let them do that. Shuffle the Crave Chips. Choose three per player at random, keeping them face down, and put the rest in the box. The player who ate Taco Bell most recently goes first. When in doubt, the youngest player goes first. I almost feel like eating these. And that's how you play the Talk About Party Pack game. Until next time, I'm Ricky Minaj. Now I'm gonna go run like 10 miles. Spike that diabetes to the moon, diabetes.